Jeff here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Ah, uh, amazing. And you? I'm fabulous. Thank you for asking. <laughs> and can I get your name and where are you from? My name is Jan. I am from Indonesia. Ah, selamat datang. Saya senang nomong sama anda. Ah, ah surprise. <laughs> okay. So, today we're going to do conversation questions, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to have you choose a number. You have eight options. What would you like? Number seven. Number seven. Okay. So, that means that no, number seven is no longer available. Okay. So, I'm going to ask you questions and you answer. And after you answer, you will ask me the same question, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Let me find, because you picked number seven. Okay. All right, the first question. What kind of shoes are the most comfortable? Shoes most comfortable. Nike. Nike. Okay. Nike. Like tennis shoes, sports shoes. Yes. Uh-huh. And trekking shoes also. Mhm. Mm okay. So, can you do, do you wear a lot of tennis shoes or do you usually wear more sandals? Oh, uh can you repeat the <coughs> Sorry. Sure. No problem. Do you usually wear sandals or do you usually wear tennis shoes? Sport shoes. Sport shoes. You usually I'm, wear sport Uh sometimes I'm use sandals also. Mhm. Mm Okay, can you ask me the same question? Uh, do you uh do you use shoes or sandals? Oh, and I'm sorry, the first question. What uh, kind of shoes uh, are the most comfortable? Yes. Uh, what kind of sho shoes uh most comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. For me, I think I agree with you. I like tennis shoes. Uh maybe yeah. sports shoes. For like running shoes because they're very comfortable, right? They're very soft. Yes. And I feel like I can I can walk all day long. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. Are, you, are you ready for question number two? Yes. All right. If you were an actress, because you're a woman, if you were an actress, what kind of movies would you like to be in? Um, I like uh. Comedy movie. Uh huh. Good choice. And why do you, why would you want to act in uh, funny movies or comedies? Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. talk anymore, but uh, it's funny. Sure. Right. And he's very successful, right? Almost. <laughs> yes. I think everyone in the world knows who Mr. Bean is, right? Uh huh. Uh, and you? What? Okay. Can you? Yes. You Can are you an actor. Uh, who? What kinds of uh, movies do you do you do you want? Uh huh. So it would be if you were an actor, what kind of movies would you like to be uh, in or or act in? Can if you are an actor, what kind of movie you? Want to be in. Want to be in. You want to be in. I think I would want to do action movies. Oh, <laughs> like Marvels? Uh, hmm, no, I'm thinking more like James Bond. Oh. Maybe. Mission Impossible? Dun, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. A a uh, 007 Agent. Yes, 007. <laughs> it's called 007 James Bond. Oh. Double seven. Right. And uh, if you were an actress, how much money would you like to earn in one year? <laughs> um, one billion. Yes. <laughs> good. Yes. Good answer. Oh, and rupiah or U.S. dollar? Rupiah. One billion rupiah. Uh, it's That's for charity, I think. <laughs> it's it's still a lot what, for all oh, for charity. Oh, yes. very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Well, thank you for coming live. I need to move on to someone else. Okay. Very well done. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Sampai jumpa. <laughs> Sampai jumpa. Thank you. See you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Fine. You? <laughs> Wonderful. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Beetle. You can say Beetle to me. Okay. I'm from Turkey. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, Merhaba, right? Yeah, true. All right. Hello. So I'm Michael and I'm from the United States. And uh, today we're going to do conversation questions. All right? Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to best. Yes, of course. I need you to pick a number. Two. All right. So number two is gone. All right. So let me find your questions. So same as before, I'm going to ask you a question and then you answer. And then uh, you will ask me the same questions, okay? Okay. Um, here we go. All right. This is a very important question. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? Pineapple and pizza. How do I feel? <laughs> yes. What do you think about putting pineapple on pizza? Um, they are good. Okay. I don't you... understand what you mean. Oh, it just means what is your perspective? What are your thoughts about putting pineapple on pizza? Right? And it's 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 not a very deep question. It's just, uh, what do you think about pineapple on pizza? Together, pineapple and pizza. Uh oh, the connection. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so it's just a simple question. Uh, do you like pizza that has pineapple on top? No. <laughs> okay. No, no. Uh huh. So now you would say. Yeah, I don't really like it. So if I said, how do you feel? You'd be like, eh, it's not so good. So yeah. ask, ask me the same question. Um, how do you p feel? About? Pineapple and pizza. About? Yeah. Uh, about putting pineapple on pizza. How do you feel about putting pineapple and pizza? Yes, I think it is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> in uh, maybe I can show you a picture. In America, and I think other parts, there's a, a very common pizza called Hawaiian pizza. And let me see if I can get a picture. Give me one moment, and I'll try to show it to you. It's so, sometimes it's easier to show someone than to t to explain it. So here we go. I'm gonna switch the camera around. I'm gonna show you a picture. Okay. Okay. All right. So, can you see the picture? This is pizza? Yes, it has pineapple and it has... Uh, no. And meat. No. <laughs> no it's way. Bad. Mm. No. Have, <laughs> have you ever tried... For you, maybe it's good. Mm -hmm. wow. But for me, not. Have you tried it before? Have you tried pineapple on pizza? Um, no. Uh <gasps> You haven't tried it, but you say it's bad? Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know bad, I think. Uh, I, I like it because it's kind of a sweet taste with mixed in with the flavors of the pizza. So I think it's nice. Yeah. I'm going to try for you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, are you ready for question number two? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's see. All right. If you could talk to yourself when you were 15 years old, what would you say? Why did you do false things? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, why, why did you make bad decisions? Something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and would you, give, would you give yourself any advice to help yourself? 
uh, work. I need work more. I mm -hmm. should do that. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Can you ask me the same question? Try again, please. Sure. If you could talk to yourself when you were fifteen, what would you say? If you could talk to yourself, what? Oh <laughs> shit! It's okay. It's, it's it's two parts. So repeat after me the first part. If you could talk to yourself when you were fifteen. If you could talk to yourself when you fifteen. What would you say? What would you say? I would say. One second. Uh, so if if I could talk to myself when I was fifteen, what would I say? I would say invest in Apple. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. And I would also say you're going to hear about something called Bitcoin in a few years. Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it all. Right. Well, mm -hmm. and also I would probably say similar to what you said. Work hard. Be focused. Really make good decisions. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you have any other thoughts? Do you want to say anything else? No. Okay. All right. Well. Thank you for uh oh the connection is kind of going. Thank you for coming live. I'm Tin. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Can I get your name and where you're from? Oh, my name is Ayumi. Oh, uh, I'm from Japan. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's see. Uh, what time is it? I guess I could say Ohio, right? Oh, uh, it's night time. Night time. So konbanwa, is that right? Konbanwa. Yes. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> so my name is Michael, and I'm from America, mm -hmm. but right now I'm living in Indonesia. Today oh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. So I need you to pick a number. What would you number. like? Mm -hmm. Number. Mhm. Number four. Number four. Okay. Give me one moment. I'll put my X over number four. There you go. Okay. okay. So because you chose number four, I'm going to find the questions, and so I will ask you the question and you answer, and then after that you will ask me the same question. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can do it. <laughs> It's difficult. Okay. You can do it. Okay. All right. Let's see. If all right, here we go. How does The weather affect your mood and attitude. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't understand. Sorry. Hmm? Okay. The, how does the weather? How the weather. does the, the weather affect, or how does the weather change your attitude or your mood? Oh, I did. I didn't know the word. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, you do, say the last last word. Okay. Um. Do you know the word attitude? How do you attitude. feel? No, I don't know. Attitude. Attitude means how do you feel. So the question, in other ways, is how does the weather change how you feel? Oh. Oh. I. I like sunny, sunny weather. Uh -huh. And uh, after raining, and uh, I like uh, after summer. Yeah. Okay. Summer is uh, I I like I like it. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. Okay. So uh, does sunny weather makes you feel good, right? When it's yeah. sunny out, mm -hmm. yes. Sunny. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So can you ask me the same question? Do you <laughs> do you remember? Wait. How how was weather? Ah. Uh... Here, repeat after me. 
Okay. How does the how does the weather change how you feel? Mm. Uh, how does how does the weather change <laughs> how you feel? Uh, change change how do you feel? Right. And we we could we good job. Yes. We could also say how does the weather change your emotions, right? How does it uh, emotions? Oh. Right. Okay, so I need to answer. I think I'm the same as you. If it's a sunny day, oh, mm-hmm. wow, I feel like I have a lot of energy, right? Mm-hmm. I want to work. Yeah. I want to work on my projects. If it's a cloudy and it's a dark, rainy day, mm-hmm. it's like ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. It's kind of like ugh. It's not impossible, but it just feels so much better when the weather is beautiful. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you, are you ready for question number 2? Again? <laughs> number 2. No, okay. Two. I I can do that. Yes, you can do it. All right, here we go. Let's okay. see. Would you rather would you rather live on the beach or in the mountains? I'm sorry. Which which? Uh-huh. Which? which one? Where would you rather live? Where would you like to live? Oh. on the beach or in the mountains oh i like in the beach like lake how uh, right lake sure maybe ocean maybe lake yeah yes ocean uh, same we as lake okay eventually i want to living in i don't know uh, lake lake uh, around the house uh huh house around lake <laughs> So uh, you could say a house on a lake or near a lake. Right? Uh, near or on yes on the lake uh, on uh-huh. the lake. <laughs> right. And why? What, what why, why do you choose, because, why do you go ahead? Uh, I like uh, yes. because it's uh I uh I want to oh, see this view view lake. Uh, be be like uh, and make make me maybe fe- feeling better. Sure, sure. <laughs> to say that, sorry. No, no problem. Now, can you ask me the same question? Uh, <laughs> which one? Which one? Do you like living in beach or? Oh, I forgot. beach or uh, mountain aha uh-huh. so would you rather live on the beach or in the mountains hmm for me i think it's a easy answer beach oh <laughs> why well because i love the water i love the ocean i love lakes i love swimming uh mm-hmm. so yeah i think if i lived in the mountains it would be too far from the water unless maybe if there's a lake in the mountain but then mm-hmm. if there's a, a lake in the mountains it's probably very cold <laughs> it's probably not good for uh, swimming mm-hmm. mm. okay so all right thank you for coming live i'm going to say uh arigato for coming mm-hmm. live <laughs> thank And, you so much Yes, thank you. So I'm going to move to another person. Okay. You're welcome to come back in the future, okay? Mhm. Okay, thank you. All bye. right. Bye-bye. All right. Hello. Hello? Yeah, hello. hello. C- can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me? I can. Yes. Can can you tell me your name and where you're from? Well, I'm Julian. I'm from Indonesia. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, another Indonesian. So, selamat datang. Saya senang bertemu dengan anda. Hmm. Uh, selamat datang. Selamat malam juga. <laughs> okay. So, my name is Michael. I'm from America. Okay. And today yeah. I have a couple questions for you, okay? Okay. All right. First, I need you to pick choose a number. Okay, I will choose number 5. Number 5, okay? Yep. All right. Let me block it. Number 5 is chosen. Okay. Let me find okay, your questions. You. Ooh. 
This is an interesting one. Okay. So same thing. I'll ask you the questions. You answer, and then you'll ask me. Okay. So here okay. we go. What, what effect? What effect do you think social media has on young people? Okay. What effect for young people about social media? Right. What effect do you think social media has on young people? Well, I think it it gives much effect right now. Even like uh, in some countries, like in Indonesia right now, we have very uh, it's very high about politic and social media, and young people exactly like to open social media currently. So it's a really big effect. Exactly for bad news or hoax, something like that, really not true. Mm -hmm. It can be a big damage for their personality, exactly for the young people, because they just get the news directly from the social media and don't even thinking about about is it true or not about that news in the social media. So I think for Indonesian, exactly for now, it's very bad effect for social media. Mm. Uh, actually. Actually, mother or pa uh, or the father should really have to think for this too. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, you can hear me. Uh, the the connection's kind of being funny, but hopefully we can finish. Can you ask me the same question? Hello. All right, let's see. Oh, this is such a juicy question. All right, the connection is not working. Okay. Hey, we... sorry, it's red connection. <laughs> it's okay. We'll work it out. So, can <laughs> can you ask me the same question? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what is the effect? For social media for young people, right? Sure. What effect do you think social media has yeah. on young people? Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is what this is a this? this is a question which could, we could have a conversation for hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but if I, if I only have a short time, I would say mm -hmm. that social media is a tool. Um, it's kind yeah. of. It's a tool. It could be like I don't know, a knife maybe, or the internet. Mm -hmm. You can use mm -hmm. it for wonderful things. You can meet yeah. people. You can uh, promote your business. You can mm -hmm. meet people from all over the world, right? But on the opposite yeah. side, yeah. if you get yeah. too if you get too addicted, if you believe everything you see, if you do crazy yeah. things yeah. because just because it's on social media, but you have no proof, er, then it's like That's ah. What exactly. Ah, so I, I think it's very similar to the internet. It's an incredible tool that can be used for good and for bad, and it mm -hmm, depends mm -hmm. on the person, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is. So that's why I see it like uh, parents uh, when parents for their young children to have really look for these. I mean, like for the internet, they're playing for the internet or social media, and they have. To be really to look what contents they have to see inside the media. Sure, sure. It's yes. It's it's. I mean, it's such a wonderful tool, but at the same time, there's such things that aren't good, and it's like ah, <laughs> right. Okay. Are you are you ready for <laughs> question, question number two? Yeah, sure. I'm ready for. All right. Question number two is more simple. <laughs> okay. okay. What is it? So, what do you usually do on the weekend? Uh, well, I usually do it on the weekend. I'm working sometimes for the weekend, but the next time when I'm working in the weekends, I like to do paper art. It's like wheeling paper, also paper cut. So uh -huh. I make it at home when I am not working, not only in the weekend, but only in day off too, I do make the paper art. Uh huh. Interesting. That sounds yeah, very interesting. I just, I just like to make a kind of art or paper crop something. So I like to make it, give it to my nice or my sister, 
but sometimes I do sell it too. It just yeah depends on the request of people. But I just like to do it for hobby. Sure. Okay. Can you yeah. ask me the same question? Okay. What do you, uh what do you like to do for the weekend? Uh huh. What do you usually do on the weekend? Uh, well, yeah. What do you usually do on the weekend? Um, I'm usually working on my projects. I'm either researching something, building something, <laughs> creating something, and most of it has to do with uh, teaching English or the projects I'm making or the YouTube videos or the Instagram videos or my courses, stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing pretty much seven days a week. Okay. <laughs> So I think I have also have a big impact with watching YouTube or watching like a video in Instagram for longer hours. It's just crazy too. Sure. And yes, I'm learning a lot too. And, and I think you have to have a passion, right? Because it takes a lot of time and energy to continue. <laughs> Maybe you have to give like a... Uh, other language lessons in, in Instagram or something, you know, like some people would like to learn new language. I suppose, sure, sure. Yeah, it, yeah, it's good, it's very good. But English is very good too because many of us in Indonesia cannot speak English. Exactly me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well... Thank you very much for coming live, and I'm going to move on to yeah. the next person, okay? Yeah, thank you so much for selecting me, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to say, uh, I'll say, Terima kasih, sampai jumpa, and selamat malam. Terima kasih, sampai jumpa, selamat malam. All right, bye-bye. Oh. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah. All right, we can try. All right. Um, can I get your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Madina. I am from Kazakhstan. Okay. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. My name is Michael and I'm from the United States. And okay. today we're going to do questions, okay? Yes, okay. Nice to All meet right. you too. So can you choose, choose a number? No, uh, number six. Number six. Six, yeah. All right, so here we go, number six. All right, so let me find your questions. All right, so the same thing. I will ask you the question, and then you ask me after you answer, okay? Here we go. Okay, yes, I'm, I'm ready. Here we go. How do you improve your mood when you get frustrated? Um, when, I'm, when I'm frustrated, I, I want... Uh, to improve my feeling, um, no, I, I listen music. <clears throat> I listen music or conversation uh, to how to say conversation. My um, friends uh, to talk my friends or um, mm, so yeah. I'm listening music when I when I have that um, mood. Yeah, good. When I have Wonderful. that mood. Yeah. Can you yeah. ask ask me the same question? Uh, how uh, how do you improve when you have a bad mood? Sure. Is it right? Uh, it, yeah. Yes, very close. How do you improve your mood when you are frustrated? When you feel frustrated? frustrated. Yes. yes. Yes, frustrated. Well, for me, I like to exercise. Um, I like to maybe yeah. swim or I go for a walk. Uh, or I look for people who have positive energy, someone that will probably yes. make make me feel good, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great way. It's great way. Yes, I agree with you. And also, I think what you said I liked a lot. Listen to music, right? Because yeah. we can choose different kinds of music. We can choose music that makes us feel really good and really sad. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sure. Are you ready for question number two? Yes, I'm ready. All Ask. right. All right. <laughs> what do you think about people wearing shoes inside a home? Uh, uh, I think it's a um, it's a bad habit. Uh, it's um, I don't I don't know how to say. 
I think it's bad uh, wearing shoes inside home. Uh, yeah. And why? It's not uh, how to say. Uh, it's I think shoes are dirty, dirty. Uh, we must uh, we must um, to clean uh, to keep our house. Uh, how to say? I forgot some words. Uh, clean, yes, clean. Yes. Clean, right? You must clean, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, but uh, but I know lots of a uh, lot of home um, in the city or towns. Uh, people are wearing shoes in in a house. Mm. Is it right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. right. Can you ask me the same question? Uh, what do you think? What do you think uh, about people? Uh, about who is wearing, uh, who are wearing shoes inside home? Right, and it's what do you think about people wearing shoes inside a home? Right, inside right. a home. Yeah. In, let's see. If if it's my house. <laughs> Yeah. I I don't like it if people wear shoes, and it's for pretty simple reasons. One is it's dirty. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's it's a very simple way to help keep your house clean, right? Please take your yeah. shoes off. And I think I learned from my mom. When I was little, every time my brother and I would come inside the house, my mom's like, "Hey, get those shoes off." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And because my brother and I, we were always dirty. We were in the woods. We were in mud. We we're making a mess, and so we're in a hurry yes. to come inside and maybe grab something, a toy, and go back out. My mom's like, uh, 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 "Take the shoes off." And so yes. now, now I do the same thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. We also, we also, we don't uh, wearing uh, shoes inside the house. Yeah. Uh huh. So, it, and I also find that it depends sometimes on the country and the culture. Some people yeah. will, will be very, very upset. They will feel like you disrespected them if you wear shoes. Uh -huh. So it yeah. seems like the easiest way is to just not wear shoes. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming live. Very well done. Okay. Thank you, thank you all for you to join, uh, to accept me. Yeah, it was, um, it's very nice to speaking with you. I think future time we speak again. So, sure, you're, you're, wel yeah. you're welcome to come back in the future. Okay, goodbye. Have a all nice right, day bye. for you. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. How are you? Pretty well. One? one? I'm fabulous. Can. Okay. Can I get your name and where you're from? I'm Hotib and I'm from Indonesia. Oh, more Indonesians. Uh, yeah. Salamat datang. Uh, yeah. Saya senang namong sama anda. Terima kasih namong sama saya. <laughs> okay. So uh, today we're going to do questions, right? So I will ask you questions and you can answer, okay? Okay. All right. Can you choose a number? Uh, number one. Number one. Oh, just number one. All right. Let me exit out. There we go. Number one. All right. Let me find. Whoop! I'm shaking. There we go. Let me find your questions. All right. So the same thing. I will ask you a question, and then you answer, and then you will ask me the same question. Okay. Okay. All right. What do you do? If you send a text message to the wrong person, uh, I would say, uh, "Sorry, my phone is hacked." <laughs> someone hacked my phone. <laughs> yeah, someone hacked my phone. So uh. it's not me. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> uh huh. And have you done that before? Yeah, I do. And was it a? I did. Was it a successful answer? No, they they know that I'm liar. 
<laughs> yeah, I was, I was feeling stupid. <laughs> okay. Can you ask me the same question? Uh, what did you do when you text to the wrong person? Okay. So let's pretend we're using WhatsApp. The first thing I would do is try to delete it, right? <laughs> okay. And yeah, we'll do it too. if I'm unable to delete it or if they ask what happened, I would probably just say, I'm sorry, I sent it to the wrong person. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Something like that. Right? Okay. Um, question number two. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. What would other people say about your dancing ability? Dance? I cannot dance in, by the way. But if they, uh, what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, but but uh, when I have to do, I will do a random move, like a, uh, yeah, like a, uh, uh, what what song is it? Like a Bruno Mars move. Uh, that's what I like. And, yeah, <laughs> kind of like that. And I just so, know that then. So what would other people say? Would people say you're a good dancer, you're a bad dancer, or average? What would they say? Uh, they say, uh, I think they will say that I'm bad at dancing, but I don't care who don't, I don't mind it. Right. Because okay. you, you like the music. It makes you feel good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you ask me the same question? Uh, uh, what, what would you do if you have to dance? Uh-huh. So the question is, what would other people say about oh, okay. your dancing ability? Okay. What would other people say about your dancing ability? Well, I know for sure my daughter would say I'm a horrible dancer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but may maybe it depends on what kind of music. Um, when I was younger, I used to dance like swing music. Uh, I can maybe show you a picture of what swing music is. Music. Uh huh. Let's see. More like this. I'm gonna show you a picture, okay? Okay. All right. I used to dance music kind of like this. Mm -hmm. It's like a classical dance. Uh, similar, but it's usually kind of faster music, and uh, you have to spin around and, and you have a partner, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay. So if if I was dancing to that music, I think people would say that I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you pick a simple move? Uh, sometimes more complex, but I don't know. I'm probably average, but like like you said, I don't care. It feels okay. wonderful, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, so if the music is good, it feels very nice. Okay, all right, so those are the two questions. Thank you for coming live, and you're welcome to come back in the future, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Salamat malam. Salamat malam. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Fine, sir. Ah. Thank you for. You're welcome. I it looks like we're taking a trip around your house. <laughs> yeah. Ah. All right. And can I get your name and where are you from? Okay, my name is Carlos from Nigeria. Okay, my name is Michael. I'm from the United States. Very nice to meet you. Thank I, you, sir. I have two numbers left. I have three and eight. What would you like? Okay, go for eight. Eight, okay. All right, so we'll cover up number eight. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question, and then you will answer and then ask me the same question, okay? I got it. Got it. All right. Let me find your questions. All right. Here we go. Question number one. What are some of the most common names in your country? 
common names. Okay, in my country, right in Nigeria, right, we have a uh, lot of uh, like many languages and many ethnics. Okay, and uh, we we have Igbo, we have Yoruba, we have Hausa. So in these three major ethnic groups in Nigeria, uh -huh. I'm from the Igbo ethnic group. So in my own major ethnic group, which is Igbo, we mostly answer our ancestors' name. Okay. Or into our market, like we have a K, Nkwo, Ure, Afo. So some people we choose to answer like Nwafo, uh -huh. or Nweke, or Nwankwo, something like that. So because they are related to markets in our uh, country here, yeah, being Igbo, it's Igbo. So other people like Yoruba, they mostly answer based on how they dance or how big they are. Okay. So most of them are like a big girl because they are big. And that sounds something like that. And other people, it's a group like Hausa. So majorly, I'm not from Hausa, so I don't know how their names relate to them, but they majorly answer uh, like Ali uh -huh. or Uzan, something like that. So that's majorly how uh, they choose names here. And would you say, is your name a common name or uncommon name? Okay, my name, I answer if fine. So it's a common name here. It's a common name. Mostly people. Uh -huh. Mostly people. I... Okay. All right. Can you ask me the same question that I asked you before? So I can't really recall <laughs> how you twisted them, but if, if yeah, I think you said what are common names answer in your country. Yes. What are some common names in your country? Right. Okay. So uh, some common names in your country. Well, from America, uh, very common names, Michael, John, maybe Peter, okay. uh, maybe Anna, Mary, okay. Jane. <laughs> so my name, my name Michael is very, very, very common. <laughs> yes. Okay, are you ready for question number two? You ready? All right, here we go. If you could have an unlimited supply of something, what would you want? Unlimited supply of something. Yes. Man, money. <laughs> that is what almost everybody wants. The, the, so, that's exactly what I would want to be unlimited to my side. Because I come from this background, which I will need to help my family help my siblings, help my father, help my mother. So I would actually need money, unlimitedly, because it will help me get to achieve all those things I, I want to achieve. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you ask me the same question? Okay. If you wish to have anything unlimited, what would that be? Right. If I could have an unlimited supply of something, what would you want? Okay. I would like wisdom. Okay. Because if if I have wisdom and unlimited supply, wow, I can figure out everything. I can figure out how to make a lot of money. I can figure out how to help people. I can figure out how to help my family. I can figure out how to learn things that I really want to know. So I choose wisdom. <laughs> That's great. Okay. That's great. <laughs> okay. Well, Thank you for coming live. We did two questions, and you're welcome to come back in the future, okay? Thank you. I got this, and I'm happy to meet you, sir. Likewise. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye.